Worksheet 1. I have completed the previous class. Worksheet of time. Now I am going to enter into the worksheet 1 of geometry. Worksheet 1 of geometry. Before getting into the worksheet, I recall the brush your I'll brush you our basics in the previous class I have discussed about the geometry. Okay. What is this a dot? What is a dot we call in mathematically point? This will be a point. A dot in geometry we call it as a point. Call it as a point. Okay, put the dots. Put the dots in straight lines, straight ways and join them. And join them. Join them. What is this? Here one point, here one point I have joined. This is a line C. Suppose take a point A and B. I have joined then we call it as a line segment. Then we call it as a line segment. Suppose a line doesn't come to the points. Like it will go way this way and this way. Don't know where it had joined. Don't know where it is joined. It is going on its way. We put arrow marks for this type of lines. And we call it as Line. We call it as a line. This we call as a line segment. This arrow box putting in the line on the arrow X indicates that it is having the infinity. That is we don't know where it is joining. We call that type of as a line. We call that type of line uh, what that type of things or lines. So line, line segment type point. Line, line segment type point. See here, in the line, this line segment is a part. In the line, this line segment is a part. Here it can be. See here, suppose C. This is going on joining. We don't know where it is joining. But C is somewhere in the line point C. This also we call as a line segment. This also we call as a line segment. Line segment is nothing about joining two points. Joining a line, joining two points. A line, a line, joining, between two points. Between two points is a Line segment is a line segment. Line segment. What is a line segment? A continuous a line joining between two points is a line segment. Here see the line segment is between two dots. We indicate this between two dots. But line, line will be like, line will be like continuous. We don't know where it is starting, where it is ending. We put that type of things or with arrows. And we say this as, has no ending and no starting. Has no ending. Ending point. And starting point. A line has no ending point and starting point. But line segment has a starting point and ending point. See here. Suppose A and B points we have joined. This is the starting point and this is the ending point. This is the line segment. Where any ending point. We indicate this type of with arrows. With arrows. There is very similar difference, very small difference between line and line segment. Please remember if between the points is a line segment. It has a endings. It has a endings and starting point. 
call a line and which does not have no ending and starting point should now you must try to remember this one next okay take the correct options in the worksheet where of the geometry take the a bit what is the first one in the a bit a dash is a small part of a line there is a line there is a continuous line there is some two points somewhere between there this may be we call it as a line segment line segment it is the part of the line it is the part of the line it is the part of the line so what is the part of the line line segment option b line segment option b line segment next second one a line segment has dash length second one a line segment has dash length yeah changing length fixed length or long length here to here we call as a line segment but see here this will be the continuous one it may be changing or long whatever but it is not fixed it is not fixed but see the line segment it is fixed or not to the points that the points it's joining it is a fixed one it doesn't change so it is a and it is a long this is the long maybe it's ending from here is it a long no it is not long it may or it may be long but it is a fixed one it is a compulsory a fixed one so b fixed line segment doesn't have a changing length line segment always has fixed length next a point has only position length breadth what is the length breadth that the measurements length breadth of measurements but position point will have some position it is there it is in the upper one it is the down one this is the side one like we have a position for the point it doesn't have any length or breadth so what is the answer there position position next a line is marked by you see here line is marked by what are these two arrow marks they get question points points no points in the line segment but they gave a line line is marked by dash on the both sides if it is a points it is a line segment if it is a arrows it is a line so answer is line our answer is it is arrows answer is arrows answer is arrows always remember line will have the arrow marks line segment will have the points ending and starting point line will also have the points but we represent them as the arrows because it is a non continuous it is a sorry continuous one a line segment is measured with a scale tape tape and scale both you can use the scale or you can use the tape to measure it so what is the fifth one c tape and scale tape and scale next the b bit next see the b bit next see the b bit write the type of each figure below and name them we have three types here 
we have three types here we have three types here see look at the book look at the book be with we have three types there children homework is complete your workbook complete your workbook thank you children